Artery for one is quite the attraction for locals and visitors, but now many are reporting that people out on the water are getting way too close to sea otters and are disturbing them in their natural habitat. Recently, Otter 841 has been making headlines nationwide, but now many are concerned about people harassing other sea otters in the same area. Just because one particular sea otter is climbing up on surfboards and coming to humans doesn't mean that the whole population does that. Local photographer Mark Woodward captured these photos of kayakers and paddleboarders getting close to sea otters. He says in just the last week, people caused a group of about 10 otters to flee, and other times people got as close as two feet from the otters. It's really important to be able to give sea otters their space, and these uh, photos show evidence that people were not following those rules. The Marine Mammal Protection Act lists two levels of harassment. Level B harassment refers to acts that have the potential to disturb a marine mammal or stalk in the wild. Experts say that getting too close to sea otters causes them stress. And they'll take away energy that otherwise would spend getting food, taking care of their young, managing the kelp forest, doing all the things that sea otters do. Some locals in Santa Cruz worry about the harassment of the otters, emphasizing that the Monterey Bay is their home. They work hard just for, for their survival or their existence and uh, they don't need to be distracted from that. We're the ones that have invaded their homes and um, I think they should be left to be comfortable. Now both state and federal wildlife officials say interacting or giving food to sea otters is never a good idea. Swimmers, surfers and boaters are urged to stay away and if an otter notices you, that's an indicator that you're too close. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Ariana Hosso, KSBW Action News 8 Sunrise. It's important to mention the harassment of sea otters violates the Marine Mammals Protection Act. If prosecutors violators could face civil penalties up to $11,000 and up to a year in prison as well as criminal fines.